everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an amazing day or night or whatever time it is where you are right now while you're watching this. So today we're doing a little meal prep again. So one of the meals I'm doing is a chickpea and sweet potato snack. The other one is a sort of green curry. The third meal that we're doing is the basis for a bean and rice salad type thing. And the fourth one is a pasta dish. So first off, you're going to want to preheat your oven to 200 degrees Celsius and line a baking tray. We're going to cut up three sweet potatoes. Now, if you've noticed, I've got the numbers in the corner for which meal we're working on at which time. Now I'm going to cover these sweet potatoes in cayenne pepper because I love it when they are spicy. I'm going to pop them into the oven. They take about 40 minutes to cook and I'm going to flip them over at the 20 minute mark. For the second meal, you're going to start off with four regular potatoes and you're going to pop them into a big pot. This is the curry meal that we're making now. I'm also going to take two large heads of broccoli and I'm going to cut off the florets there and pop them in the pot as well. Then we're taking two cups of water and this is not necessary, but two cups of vegetable stock as well. You can leave that out if you wish and just replace it with some water. I'm taking a can of coconut milk and then I'm taking three large tablespoons of green curry paste. And I'm gonna add in a heap of pepper as well. Now these meals, they are really inexpensive and oh, I'm also adding chili to this one. Like I was saying, they're really inexpensive and they're really great when you're on the go. Some of them are a bit higher in sodium though, but if you're eating just fresh fruit and veg the rest of the time, it doesn't matter. For the first meal again, I'm taking a can of chickpeas and a can of brown lentils. Try and drain them as much as possible. And I'm just using a bit of a garlic paste. If you want this to be vegan, just use regular garlic and a little pinch of Himalayan salt here. I'm popping these both on a medium heat just to cook a little. Now I'm going to take two cups of brown rice and I'm going to take five cups of water. You're going to boil the water, then you're going to turn it down to a low heat. My chickpeas are ready, so I'm going to pop them in their containers. This one is so easy and I love to actually serve it cold. At the end, I'm actually going to add some spinach leaves to it as well. So it's going to be the chickpeas, the lentils, the sweet potatoes and spinach. So there are my sweet potatoes there, flip them over. Now for dish number three, this is going to be the basis of a meal. We're taking a can of red kidney beans, a can of black beans, a can of lentils, adding in some chili powder, some cayenne pepper, some oregano, and then we're also adding in garlic powder. Now for this one, the other ingredients I don't add in. I'm also taking a whole white onion. So when you serve this later on, that's when you're going to want to add fresh capsicum, fresh tomato and fresh avocado. Don't add them into the meal now as they will spoil quicker. You're just going to make the base of this meal now. Now we're back to the curry again, just giving that one a little bit of a stir. Now you can see almost all of meal one is ready, so I'm just serving the sweet potatoes in with the chickpeas. Back to meal three again, this is the base meal. So those beans are finished cooking and I'm gonna serve them out in the containers. As per usual, I will have half as much as Bo because he needs to eat way more food than I do. So I'm just stirring my brown rice. You want to make sure that it has a bit of water in there so it can go nice and fluffy. Now the fourth dis dish is rather is the pasta dish. So I'm taking 500 grams of spelt grain pasta and I'm going to add that into five liters of water, boil the water and then add the pasta in. Now I want to add some low calorie noodles into my curry. So I'm taking these Chang's low cal noodles Different noodles have different instructions. These ones you just had to put in hot water for about a minute. Now you can see my rice is ready, so I'm gonna serve that out with the beans for the dish number three. Just checking on my pasta there. Now I'm adding these low-cal noodles into the curry and then I also added some cashews into that as well and I'm just going to stir that around. Once the noodles are added in, just leave it cook for another five minutes and then you can serve that out into its containers. You can have it cold or hot when you go to eat it the next day or the later days whenever you serve it. Back to the pasta dish, I'm going to add a tiny bit of olive oil into my pan and I'm going to cut up a whole brown onion. I think I called it a white onion earlier. Whoops. Well, it's white, the skin is brown, you know what I'm saying. Then I'm going to pop the onion and let that cook for a little bit in the pan with 500 grams of mushrooms. You can see that the pasta was ready now. I let the pasta cook for I think 40 minutes, but it was so soft and so nice. I'm gonna serve that out into the containers. 
Now I'm also cutting up a whole eggplant to put into the pasta dish. Now I'm using a sachet of tomato paste. Feel free to make your own. And some garlic and some thyme and some diced tomatoes. Now if you're short on time, canned options are great and they're also inexpensive. If you are able to use the fresh versions, do it. I've been using the canned options because I'm so short on time and all our cash is tied up in the gym. So you can see the pasta dish is ready there. So I'm just gonna serve it out. So here they are all served out and they're actually all so yummy and you can eat them cold or warm, whatever you prefer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it so much if you'd give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment letting me know which dish that you're going to try. Bye guys.